Hi there, I'm Jean Schubert, Parks Naturalist Supervisor with Jack's Parks, and we're here today at Ringhaver Park. Once you drive in, you can't help but notice that this is one of our major multi-sport complexes. There are soccer fields, softball fields, tennis courts, and playgrounds. And here we've come to the beginning of the Ortega Stream Valley Trail. Let's take a walk down the trail and see what it's all about. As you can see, this trail leads you to a kayak and canoe launch on the Otega River. This first part of the trail is paved and easily accessible, and it's surrounded by lush vegetation. Let's check on ahead. A variety of trees open their arms, welcoming you into the forest as you go further along the trail. The paved trail leads you to the boardwalk, where you've got these wonderful built-in benches so you can take a break before you begin your trek down to the river. This boardwalk takes you through shaded areas and also helps keep your feet dry as you go through wetlands with lush ferns before transitioning back to the paved trail. Though along the way, you'll see other little spur trails, it's always best to stay on the main trail. We recommend it. There are many wildflowers in view along the trail, like this hibiscus in bloom. And keep an eye out for a glimpse of the different wildlife around. You may even find some traveling the trail with you. Either fork from the paved trail will bring you to this elevated boardwalk, which will take you out to the river. Let's go. As you travel this elevated boardwalk, you can check out the great vistas on either side and listen for those red-winged blackbirds. Well, we've reached the end of the trail for today and are rewarded with this wonderful view of the Ortega River. I hope you'll take your own personal tour of this park and any of our other many Jack's parks. After all, it's as easy as a walk in the park.